back in the TV. Hi guys, you're watching Balcony TV Melbourne. I'm Al and I'm standing here on this gorgeous day with the beautiful Karen Fields. How are you, Karen? Fabulous. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, thanks for coming onto the balcony today. And for having me, thank you. That's well, our pleasure. <laughs> um, what song are you going to play for us? Should I See You Again? Beautiful. Go for it. Thanks.
Laat mij geen Thank you. Thank you. What Thank a you. gorgeous song to be serenaded with on this beautiful afternoon. Even there, there are a couple of skater dudes down there doing kickflips who I'm sure are also enjoying. Yeah, it's perfect this. backing music, I think, for it. It's both calming and enjoyable. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> exactly. And um, actually, before, uh, before you started playing, when you first came in onto the balcony, you said that you, you know, may have had a few too many whiskies last night, but uh, I tell you what, I, I can't tell. You couldn't tell. Yeah, well, they all came back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, shall we move on? <laughs> um, so, Karen, you're, uh, you're based in Melbourne currently, mm-hmm. um, but you're actually from New Zealand. I am. I, I met you, I think, just after you first moved over. Yeah, I yeah. I think I just ago. put my feet in the, in the red soil mm-hmm. and we came across one another. And yeah. yeah. So tell me about, um, well, I guess, A, why you moved to Melbourne. Um, and that, I guess, because there was quite a change of career for you when yeah. you first moved over. Yeah. I actually, um, I heard a Paul Kelly song, which um, it just sounds really like everyone in Melbourne has heard a Paul Kelly song. <laughs> but I hadn't been in New Zealand, so... Um, yeah, I've basically followed it to Melbourne. Um, Following Paul Kelly. Yeah. It's a <laughs> um, great story. <laughs> yeah, I, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. And I was just happened to see it on the TV and I was like, moving to Melbourne. I didn't yeah. even really give it any proper thought, which is why I only had like six bucks in my pocket when I got here <laughs> and not much else, yeah. not, not much of a plan. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Beautiful. that's what, what brought me here. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and I suppose, you know, you've been playing music for quite some time locally in Melbourne. You know, you've, you've played a lot um, in the past, <laughs> you know, four or five years since yeah, you've been here. Yeah, a um, And since I've known you, I've been wanting this album. Um, and <laughs> you, you, I know that you started it co- quite a while ago, um, but uh, you released a single um, off that album earlier this mm-hmm. year in February. Yeah. Um, but tell me about the process of this album. Um, well, I was hanging with a bunch of cool cats at um, a music shop. We were sort of pretending to work and playing guitars all day and had this great idea that we were going to record in my album and we were going to do it all on our own because, you know, that would be easy. Sure. Who, who wouldn't do that? Mm. Um, so I got a bungalow out the back of my house and we basically flipped that into some kind of makeshift studio and um, thought, you know, we'll just sort of spend a couple of months nutting down some tracks. Yep. Um, and, yeah, it took almost two years to the day. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, but the, I guess the process was mainly waiting for, like, planes to go away and for the neighbours to finish mowing lawns <laughs> and for the kids to not enjoy their lives so much. Um, yeah, and that was that was really it. And then in between all those spaces and pockets was um, was recording and, and yep. making the album. So, Beautiful. yeah. Well, all good things come to those who wait, I <laughs> say. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, um, you are releasing that in about a month? Um, in, in, um, yeah, about a month or so in Melbourne. And then you're yeah, going to hit the road um, and head across Australia and back home in New Zealand, of course. So, yeah, yeah just going to do some travelling and take the little album out of the bungalow and out to the wide world and introduce it to, um, you know, to some new places and yeah. see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I suppose a question that I have, because, you know, you started recording this album two years ago. Mm-hmm. How has... How has that affected, I suppose, um, you know, like how many new songs have you written? Like, are you just really excited now to kind of record new songs or are you just like, okay, let's just focus on this? <laughs> you can never just focus on anything, though. You know, yeah. you're, you're, you're a musician. Focusing yeah. in general is not really a big part of my day. <laughs> um, 
Um, I actually scrapped half the album a year in and went, you know what, I don't, I wrote a whole bunch of new stuff, which, you know, when you hear it on the album, you can kind of hear this <laughs> bits and pieces of everything. But um, to answer your question, yeah, I think the creating just carries on. But, um, yeah, during that process, as I say, like I chopped half of the songs out the window and sort of just started again and yeah. brought in new sort of new, fresher bunch of stuff. And um, by that stage, we had it sort of figured out anyway, so we could <laughs> do it a bit faster. But, um, yeah, creating, it just keeps going, you know, mm. like... You can't help it. You say, no, I'm never going to pick it up again. I'm never going back to a studio. I'm not going to write another song. <laughs> and then five minutes later, over a bottle of scotch, you've got your next, you know, yeah. 10 tracks ready to go. So, yeah, yeah, it's a constant. Awesome. So the album is called Rascal? Rascal. Rascal. Yeah. Awesome. Where did that name come from? Um, is that because you are one? Oh, I am a rascal. I am. Um, rascal, it's a, it's a bit of a funny story. Um, I guess, like, Rascal really captures the the personality of the album as well um a lot of rascals were involved making the album mm -hmm. um and the the songs in general um they kind of yeah there's like really sort of soft ones and then there's these sort of big you know sort of loud stamping foot stomping hilarious ones and then there's real gut-wrenching heartfelt sort of ones so it's a bit rascally in its creation as well so mm. um yeah and it's just such a great name yeah. Like, I mean, you know, <laughs> rascal. rascal. Yeah. But yeah, you can sort of, yeah, fill in the blanks. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, even though it took two years, it sounds like it was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah. Yes, it was. Awesome. Yeah, right on. Good. So you're going back to New Zealand just for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, and then you'll be coming to, coming back to Melbourne to yeah. launch it. Yeah, launching in Melbourne. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, how can people find out about where the launch is? Um, um, all that sort of probably the best place is the website, sort of the hub of everything, because you know I could sit and list off a million social media platforms. But if you just said to all of them, yeah, Karen Fields, <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Otherwise, KarenFields.com, and I've got a mailing list and bits and pieces from there and some other bits. So, I um, mean, I'm also quite loud and, and pretty big as well, so you can't miss me just generally down the street. <laughs> um, yeah, so <laughs> cool. yeah, but the website's a pretty good place to drop in and see what's going on. Awesome. Thank you for watching Balcony TV Melbourne.